I'm going to be making um, a little tapered sleeve um, to get the uh, the clutch um, oil seal over the uh, the gearbox input shaft for the Marini, and uh, we had a little rummage through the odds and ends box, and I came out with this, and uh, well. There's a few people out there who might recognise what this used to be. And if I tell you it had a little tiny um, piece of drill bit in the end, ground square. And it, this was for um, forming the taps on thick net, ethernet cables. You used to have to little, bore a little hole into the side of the cable and, and, and clamp on a tap with a little spike to make the connection and this was the uh, um, the tool. Now the um, the sleeve comes out at 26 and this bit of plastic is coming out at sort of 25.86 so it's going to do the job without me having to touch the outside diameter. So I'm just going to throw it in the lathe, drill a section out um, for the shaft clearance, turn a little bit of a taper on it, and um, uh, you know, shallower than the, this this 45 degree chamfer we've got got here, and uh, part it off, and uh, that'll be it. So let's start off by uh, throwing a bit of a hole down the middle. And how are we looking for speed? Yeah, that's somewhere around, right? <laughs> Okay, that's got us a hole somewhere close to the final size we need. So we'll just uh, put a boring bar in and take it out to the final size. calipers that I bought recently. And uh, if you're a fan of uh, Keith Venner's stuff on YouTube, you may have seen I I sent him some some bits and pieces lately. One of which was left-handed calipers, which are really quite handy 
for use on the lathe because the display's facing you. So looks like a reasonably convincing number, so I'm going to punch that in. Helps if I use the right button. There we go. And the inside that we're looking for is 21 and a half. So we haven't got much to take out, in fact. I'm going to go straight for 21.2. grab hold of the sleeve and uh, do a little comparison by feel and that's pretty damn close so I think uh, we're pretty much spot on so I'll just take the um, the final cut at 21.5 now is I want to go and uh, get hold of the seal. Alright, I've got a seal here and I just want to um, measure the inside diameter of the lip. So I'm just, just feeling for the, um, it touching there and I'm getting 25.7 so I'm going to make the, the end of the taper 25.6 so that we've got a, um, a good chance of uh, getting the uh, lips of the seal started easily. So I'm just going to part the, uh, face the end of this off slightly.
and then I'll swing the uh, top slide round to an angle that looks kind of right and we'll see where we go to So I reckon by eye that 15 degrees is looking somewhere kind of right. And let's have a go. Forgetting that uh, I tend to keep my top slide um, pretty tight um, for greater rigidity, and uh, really, if I was doing any uh, proper turning with the top slide, I ought to slacken the gibbs off slightly. But uh, you know, it's not really causing any any issues here, so I'll leave alone. So I'm just gonna. What am I doing? I'm using. Forget that you've got these new tools sometimes. What do we got? Yeah, we've got uh, twenty four as the uh, So that's uh, you know that's uh, well um, under the lip size um, on this seal. So that's uh, that's going to guide it on pretty nice. Though in fact, um, I'm going to I'm going to put a shallower taper on here. I'm going to come down to to ten degrees. That ended up being. Pretty short. So I'm just going to line up with the end. Come in and touch. we go. We've uh, got our sleeve and I'll just need to part that off um, and the job will be done.